Real Madrid achieves another very important victory in the pursuit of this season's La Liga title. This time, it was a two-tournil victory against Athletic Club, with Rodrigo as the MVP scoring both goals of the night. Let's hear from Carlo Ancelotti. What do you think of the match? We saw all the players greeting Militao upon his return to the field. What does it mean to have him back in the team two months before the end? Taking into account that these upcoming months are very important. When we talk about Militao, we're talking about one of the best central defenders in the world. It's very important for us to have him back, but as we said yesterday, he needs a bit more time to readjust to the pace of the game again. It's important that he's back with us and in training he will improve. We will certainly need him in the upcoming matches for the final stretch of the season. When a player has been out for so long, it's a great emotion for all the teammates to see him back. That's why all the players congratulated him on his return. We saw Rodrigo's celebration for his two goals. In Vinicius' absence, what does this mean for Rodrigo, considering that other attacking forward players could arrive at the team next season? He has played very well, scored goals, and given us the opportunity to take the lead early in the game. Both goals were scored with a very high quality from him, but this is what Rodrigo does and what he has to do. Now, everyone might say that he feels better on the left, but I think Rodrigo is a player of great quality who can play in any attacking position. We must remember that he scored two goals in the Champions League semifinal two years ago. Playing on the right, he is a great forward. It's normal that sometimes he doesn't score as he did today. This can happen to any forward. The next challenge for the team is the match against Manchester City in the Champions League. Guardiola has vehemently complained about the schedule since you have nine days to prepare for the match. What do you think? And, uh, well, I see it very well. Obviously, they have a more complicated schedule before our match, but this is part of modern football. In this sense, obviously, we have a small advantage, which, however, will not determine the result of the match. The truth is that we will have the necessary time to prepare well and therefore play better. Today we played a good match. We managed it well, but we didn't play with high intensity because the match didn't require it. Today I liked the way we managed the match, but I didn't like the intensity, which should have been higher. We saw Valverde limping after receiving a blow. Have you spoken to him? Do you know if it's something serious? Today we saw Valverde playing in the attacking sector, as he did years ago. What do you think of that? Valverde only received a blow, but there's no problem. We will have two days of rest, and everyone will feel recovered. Valverde played well in the match, although not with the intensity he usually has in matches. But playing with high intensity after a break for FIFA dates is a bit complicated. Wouldn't it be risky to have nine days without playing and lose competitive rhythm before the match against Manchester City? I don't think of it that way. I think it's good for us to have a week to prepare before that match. Now, obviously, I have to give rest to the players who were with their national teams, but from Wednesday, we will have the necessary and fair time to prepare ourselves in the best way. Congratulations on today's victory. Do you see the league title closer? Can Real Madrid be the only one to lose this league? We don't really think about this. We know we have an advantage, and we have to try to take advantage of this advantage and keep winning all possible matches, starting with the next match against Mallorca. We're not doing math for the title. The league is still open and we have an advantage and we must enjoy it by playing good football and trying to win all matches. If we only look at the goal statistics, do you think Rodrigo is a streaky player? 
Gracias. Sí, yo creo there are very isolated cases of forwards who have scored goals, who score and keep scoring, just as Cristiano Ronaldo did or Karim Benzema did. I think with experience, Rodrigo will improve in this aspect without a doubt. The truth is that being so young, Rodrigo always plays with a lot of intensity and for this same reason, I ask him to work defensively as well. And this could be the reason why he doesn't have as much energy in front of the goal, but obviously today he has been successful. We have been accustomed to a version of Bellingham scoring many goals, however. Today we saw him with less energy. Could this be due to the lack of overall intensity of the team? Do you think it's necessary to regain that spark we saw during the start of the season? Yes, it's true that today he didn't have the freshness he usually has. But I think it's because he played two demanding matches with his national team a few days ago. And today we saw the consequence of that which is the same thing that happened to others. And when I talk about intensity that we didn't have during the match, it's an intensity that I know they are capable of generating, as we know with Bellingham and Valverde. Today we saw gestures of frustration about the refereeing, after seeing what happened against Valencia weeks ago. Has Bellingham shared any opinions about how refereeing is in Spain? I personally don't know what he thinks about refereeing, but, uh, but what I do know is that he has learned well what he has to do here, and that's uh, keep quiet. Although Bellingham couldn't play two matches with Real Madrid due to suspension until today, don't you think he's missing something? At the beginning of the season, he scored 17 goals in 20 matches. Does Bellingham's stellar version give you more opportunity to beat Manchester City? No, no, no. No, it's not exactly like that. We all have to be at the best possible level to beat Manchester City. This applies to Bellingham and everyone. Bellingham has worked well and hard with his national team. And that same work will help him a lot to play with us here. For the confrontation against Manchester City and waiting for how Militao is, you will decide if Chuameni or Nacho will accompany Rudiger in defense. Could the possibility of including another player like Kamavinga influence choosing Chuameni? Obviously, I have to analyze many things. Today, Chuameni did a very important job because he represented a presence of strength in the midfield. He made a lot of efforts and recovered many balls. And if I place him in the defensive line, we lose this quality of his in midfield. But we always have the option of Camavinga. It's a problem to have to choose someone, but fortunately it's a positive problem and not a negative one. How will your next days be before the game against Manchester City? Have you studied the strategy? Will you analyze the matches before the April 9th game? We know Manchester City very well. We also saw the match they had today. We will do all the analysis we can, but we will be especially focused on our game. And we'll have to play a different game than what we did today. We will have to play with much more intensity, and certainly we will do it. But we have the time to prepare everything perfectly.